Suspects charged in last week's triple homicide in Des Moines are each facing a new charge. Police say Emmanuel Totoye and Daishan Gills robbed a juvenile before they committed the murders. KCCI's Ticia Muzinga is here now with a start to finish crime spree timeline. Yeah, Steve, Raya, January 30th, last Thursday, police officers were dealing with President Trump's rally and also the murders of those three teenagers. At the same time, despite that added duty, detectives put together the pieces and were able to catch both suspects. The first call came in January 30th at 4.30 p.m. A juvenile whose identity is being protected was robbed in his home on the 2500 block of Clarkson Avenue. Detectives believe Gills and Totoye were together. Actually allegedly put a gun to his head and stole him up some or stole property from him. They took off and fled the scene and drove across the metro. At around 8.15 p.m., another call came in. Three bodies found inside this home on the 600 block of East Hackley. 19-year-old Devante Swanks, 16-year-old Malachi Swanks, and 15-year-old Thane Wright all dead. Swanks' father found the bodies that night. The three boys were in the home doing what most teenage boys do after school, hanging out. Yeah, it was a bad scene. It was probably one of the worst I've seen ever. No suspect was captured that night. Moving into Friday, the 31st, we receive a call at about 3.15 in the afternoon that there had been a chase involving some gunfire. Uh, in the 2100 block of Evergreen. From there, about 45 minutes later, we had a victim show up at the hospital with a gunshot wound to her leg. So we started piecing things together, and what we learned then was that uh, Deshaun Gills was the suspect in that. It was last Friday when Gills was taken into custody and booked to the Polk County Jail early Saturday morning. Our detectives are actually doing a search warrant in the 5800 block of Southeast 8th at the Totoye residence. Located some property that we believe <laughs> came from the home and we were able to confirm that was the property of the victims of the triple murder. That's when Des Moines police gathered all the evidence and announced both men arrests Tuesday, February 4th. Now the bond set for both Gills and Totoye is more than $3 million. Also, we asked if they were involved in other crimes. Police wouldn't say, uh, give me any information on that. We also asked if anyone else was involved in any of these crimes and they wouldn't answer that. But police also want to stress that the victims of all these crimes did nothing wrong. Police say that they knew of both Gills and Totoye before all of this. But reporting live in Des Moines, TC News, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.